Now, in this particular video, we will talk about event binding. So basically, whenever we create a template for a component, in that particular component in the HTML, we can create a complete form using the controls like text box, radio buttons, checkbox or buttons. Now, when we are creating a form in order to interact with the user, a user may undergo some of the events like giving some input in the text box or clicking the button. And whenever such actions or events are taking place, we may want to do some operation, maybe just to give a message box or to perform some real life tasks. So here in the events binding, we will see how can we invoke a method on a particular event while working on the form controls. So let's start a practical implementation of events binding. So firing the event, what we'll have to do, first of all, we'll have to add some control on which we can pass some event. So let's put a button on the top of this table. For that, I will put a button tag. All right, let me just put a closing tag of it. And in between, I will pass a text like click here. All right. As soon as I'll do that, you can see there is a button. All right. And right after that, I will put some BR so that there should be some uh, gap between the table and a button. All right. Now, if I want to pass any method for this particular button, what I'll have to do, first of all, I will create a handler, which will be right here in this component, in this employee component. So what it will do is btn click. btn click is the name for my button and it will return a void, means nothing. All right. And inside I'll just pass a sample uh, method that is alert, that traditional JavaScript alert method. All right. And here I will say button clicked. I just save that. Now what I want to do is I would like to call this btn click method on the click event of this button. So what I will do is I will write click is equal to and right after that is equal to I will put this method name along with the parenthesis. But since it is the binding all right so far in the bindings when we were talking about the attribute or class binding or property binding or any kind of binding we were putting that in the square bracket but when it will be about the event binding we will put the respective event inside the parenthesis so like here i put this inside this uh, parenthesis click event since click is an event i put it inside it and as soon as i'll click over it this button this btn click method which i just created inside this uh, typescript file of employee component that will be called so let's come to the browser and check. So as soon as I'm clicking this button, I'm getting this alert message like button clicked. I'll say, okay, means the event is running fine. Now, what I want is, I want that I'll put a text like show details here, show details. And when I will click over this show detail button, then only my detail should be visible all right let's do some logical thing so what i will do i will again come to my typescript file and here i will define a property of boolean type like show detail all right i'll make it of boolean type and by default i will set it to false all right so that when i'll click over this button i will get the data all right so show detail it's of boolean type now inside this particular one let me change it display details all right that's the name of my function and i'm just putting some logical name and i will call the same by the time you will click over this button display details all right and what i want to do here i will just change the value like this dot show details which is of boolean type i will just change it from true to false and false to true so i, I will just use this not operator for the toggling all right and i'll just save it now i will use this show details value 
right here where the table is being displayed so for this what I will do I will use some predefined directive that is star ng if all right so basically this ng if is going to be a predefined directive for angular and here there is a condition which is stored by this show details variable let me just put the i in caps all right as soon as i did that you can see now table is not coming there but when i'll click i will get this detail so how is it working since show detail is of boolean type and by default it is set to false so as soon as this button is clicked it will check like this table will only be visible when this ng if this is the predefined directive provided by angular so if it will get a true then this table will be visible otherwise it will not show any detail so that is why i have used this ng if directive similarly if you want to toggle every time like if i'll click it again you can see it is gone because again when i'll click this button this true will be replaced to false right because i'm just toggling between the true and false so now similarly if you want to change the text respectively then you can do that as well i will declare another property here that is btn txt of string type and will assign the default value that is show details all right and i will use this property only in order to bind the text of this button so rather than writing the hard coded text i will use interpolation and will use the property btn txt all right now in the same method where i am toggling between the show details value i will add one more line logic that will change the text of the button at runtime so what it is doing if this show details is containing true means if the data is already displayed in that case the text of the button will be changed to hide details and if the details is not shown it will change to show details all right so this is about the btn text string so by default it will take take the text show details and in case the data is not displayed it will show, say hide details now make sure that every time when you are accessing the properties in the same class you will use this keyword every time all right as you can see everywhere when i'm using the properties i have used this keyword so i've just saved the changes let's come back to the browser click on the button and here you can see it's working fine that is when i'm clicking here show details it's showing and the text is changed to hide and when i'm clicking there the data is hidden and now text is changed so this is how you can work with the event binding in angular